hello beautiful family how are you doing thank you for your love thank you for your support so my beautiful people today i have another quick one for you you just have to listen to this wonderful update listen to every word that mazi got to say and i'll be right back then they have to fulfill your condition because already you've been able to establish your case before the international community that ipob autopilot Bia France, don't believe in violence. And we have proved beyond all reasonable doubt that the people who are violating every convention for peace and human rights are, one, the Igbo politicians, the Nigerian government, uh, the Fulani people, the headsmen, and all the terrorists and organizations have been disturbing us. We have proved beyond all reasonable doubt that we don't send people to kill anybody, that the reason why we had to go into sit at home is because they were killing us. We did not want to retaliate. We have proved beyond all reasonable doubt that the reason why ESM was formed was to secure the peripheries of our borders, to drive away cattle, uh, full, um, full and headsmen that were raping our women, killing our men, burning our houses. Everybody knows that. So don't be too quick to run into their help without their requesting. Otherwise, your help will mean nothing. It will, it will only mean that all this while you've been waiting on them so that you come and beg them. It means all this while you felt that you could not do anything without them. But God has led you thus so far without them. God has made you a figure that has been respected internationally without the Igbo leaders. God has made you come to this level without all these people and their monies. I remember when you gave them two times, you gave them opportunity, they failed. So don't be too fast in going to go to their help. When they are burning their stores in Lariko, we don't like it, but that is what they deserve from God. Because if they didn't deserve it, God would have stopped it. God allowed our people and gave them a reprobate mind that they should believe in a lie. And that lie is Nigeria. That is why Peter B said he would die for Nigeria. They all believed in Nigeria. And Nigeria is a lie. And so when you believe in lie, you are delusional. And when you are delusional, you believe in a lie, you are lost. You will never listen to the voice of reason. Well, we are talking because we are stakeholders in this different struggle. We've put our lives in it. We've put our reputation on the line. We believe what we believe. We are not interested in position. We're interested in having our people free. A new nation can be formed in Biafra that is going to bless other African nations by implication. That is a fact. And we must be careful how we tread on this land. It's very, very dangerous. Magnus Oraka has come. If you listen to him, you think he's intelligent. No, he's setting you up. He's setting us up. He's not going to make it. So Biafra had been there advocating before these elections were rigged, which we knew they were going to rig it. And we told the Igbos they refused. And I remember you, Simon, telling the Igbos that when you have gone and they have defeated you on um, after February 25th, you will come back to me. Wait on them to come back to you. Wait. Wait patiently. Let them come and beg you. When they come and beg you, the whole world will hear they are begging you. Then the whole world will put a separation between the Igbos who are non Biafrans and Igbos that are Biafrans and Biafrans. The whole world will know that dif differentiation. Now, when the whole world know that difference, as they're coming down to you, you now tell them, this is our program to get Biafra. Now that you have come in, you are coming to your senses, you've come to your senses, we're not going to fight, we're not going to burn down the house or kill anybody. He will give you the strategy, and it's the same sit at home. Because all those people, their stores who were going to market, that they couldn't sit at home, they have to do business. They have burnt your stores now. They have, your means of livelihood is gone. It's gone forever. The government will not pay you back. So that hunger which you were avoiding, it has come before you now, entered into your mouth and your stomach. Do you know, if you people had stayed neutral, without voting for Obi or Tinubu or anybody, just stayed like that in Lagos and say, we want Biafra. We don't want to be part of this voting exercise. We don't believe in Obi, whom you pull us voting. We don't believe in Tinubu. We don't believe in... Uh, uh, article, we are neutral. The Lagosians wouldn't have burnt down your stores. They may have burnt it down in Meduguri. And if they don't burn it down in Lagos and they understand that you're neutral, there are chances that these people will now come to liaise with you and say, okay, what do we do as a team to stand against these people? You now have an ally on your own terms. Thank you, Imaoti. Emekoti. Obi Nova talks about Hanam the who come out in prison. I was saying something here that I posted something on Facebook. I said, where um, um, Obi said, if he ever leaves Abda, may himself and his family die. My own brother wrote and said, human beings change that I don't understand. Obi is a, a nice guy. That's ignorance. He doesn't know anything about Obi. And that shows a level of um, 
uh, inability to comprehend and re remove evil from good. He, he doesn't know it. If he does, he wouldn't have been saying it because we've said it over and over again. You cannot stand to be the leader of a people when they kill people you don't talk, only that you want to be the president. It doesn't make you a leader. You, 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 you are not, you are not responsive to the need of the people. You are not empathizing with them. You don't have any make of human sympathy. So when you create the impression you're a good guy outside, inside you are evil. That he came by himself, criticized Obi for the killing of people. Nam the Kanu said the same thing. And Obi does not care. And my own brother is telling me that I don't understand. What does he know about what we're talking about? He doesn't know anything there. I'm not proving to be too wise that no, he doesn't understand the depth of what is going on. We know the depth and we are talking. They should, he should keep quiet and listen. And we knew that regardless of anything, I'm not talking of who is the lesser evil. An evil man is an evil man. What Tinubu did, he stole money. Uh, I think he stole. They were involved in 419. The same thing with Obi. Obi killed people. He took away lives. The mass of people that were killed. Which Ojuku spoke against. Nnamdi Kanu spoke against. Uwazulike spoke against. Even though Uwazulike went back later. According to what Mazin Nnamdi Kanu said. Collected 40 million naira from Obi. And ended up supporting Obi. That's the fact. So Nnamdi Kanu has proved himself not to be viable. And we bear that kind of concept in our mind. My brother does not understand this. So I don't blame him. Because he has his own level of understanding, comprehending things. This meal, even in the Christian faith. If you are not worshipping God. Don't think because you're my brother, if you die, I will say, may your soul rest in peace. It's not true. If you refuse to serve yourself, when you die, you will go to hell, you will rot in hell. I don't have any power to change the hand of God from allowing you go and suffer the consequences of your disobedience by bringing you to his kingdom because I'm my brother. It does not happen that way. The only man that can give you access to God is Jesus Christ. And I have surrendered my life to him. I have told my sons, I cannot save you from going to hell. My wife got born again as far back as when she was 16 years. And has been serving God all through her life. Till today she's still serving God. And we tell our sons, you serve God. And they believe they are serving God. If they backslide, I don't pray for it. Now their problem. I'm telling you the thing that has to do with the faith of Jesus Christ has no sentiments attached to it. Anything that has to do with Biafra has no sentiments attached to it. We're talking about the liberation of our people. I am not talking about sentiments. And so, Oraka should not... Should, this, is an, this is the height of insult. Any any kind of lousy nonsense person who is a mental degenerate trying to look for relevance will use Igbo as a platform to showcase or launch himself into popularity. Are you kidding me, Magnus Oraka? Are you kidding me? Do you really understand what is happening in Nigeria? Go and source for your people. They killed them the other time. Go and fight for them. Don't speak for any region. You are not an authority. Each region have the, the people who lead them, even though they are fake. Let them speak their fakeness. Obi said that Biafra died 57 years ago in Brekete TV. Obi does not believe in Biafra. So there are Biafrans who are not Igbos. And there are, are Biafrans who are Igbos. Those of us who are Igbo Biafrans, we don't stand with Obi. We are not sympathizing with him that he lost the election. Let Nigerians get it straight. We are not against Nigeria for making Obi lose the election. We are not against Tinubu for rigging the election, outrigging Atiku and Obi. We are not against Atiku. Neither are we in support of Obi or sympathetic. If Obi has high blood pressure today for losing the election, we, I don't care. Let me not speak for, for IPOB or top of Me, I don't care. It is his life. It was the path he chose. He said Biafra died 57 years ago. And the leader of Biafra, the present one, he is in the prison languishing illegally. To the extent that even in the wicked contraption called Nigeria, some three courts could be bold enough to declare that this man's detention is legal. Then a politician that comes from that region, let me not look at it from the broad perspective. Somebody can say, well, because it's not a liberal man, he's, he's a not an, he may not understand. He will always want to suppress us. A politician from the southeast could not open his mouth and speak to the government. Leave this man alone. I, I, I'm not talking about, I know I want to be president, but let the truth stand. I can't be president when a lot of people have been killed. No, what he said, he does not believe in the man because the man believes in Biafra. And Biafra died 57 years ago. So what Nambi Khan is doing has no relevance to Obi. He doesn't care. He spelled it out openly to us. We understood it and we took, maintained our cool and refused to contend with him. Except this, we advised Biafra, don't vote in the election. 
stay at home. This was the election that Katrina Liang or Liang was telling the whole world, go and get your PVC. I hope she has heard what has happened to PVCs. I hope she saw the massive rigging. Thank God for um, this in, um, um, media. They were using phone to show everything. The one they were rigging in the north, the one they were rigging in the southwest, and the one they were rigging in the southeast. All of them rigged. So the election is not free. It's not fair. Even if the rigging was only in southeast region and others were true, it was not free. It was not fair. And Buhari has fulfilled his promise. He said he is going to conduct a transparent election. He swore that that is his legacy for Nigeria before his sources. And he delivered. He gave a transparent election that was transparent, transparently rigged. Open rigging. It is temporary. You know, transparency is not only when you do good things. When you do it, transparent means you can see through. There is no hidden agenda there. So somebody says, I am going to be transparently wicked. He is showing his wickedness live, and you see clear that there's no embellishment. He's not trying to do, trying to pretend to you is good. No, he show, he's dealing with you. I say, this is me. So Buhari delivered, and I, I congratulate him for that. That at least he performed according to his promise that he would do a transparent election, and the transparent election was that it was transparently rigged, rigged to the extent that it was not only him that rigged it. I think we rigged and will be rigged. And so, Oraka should not come and start talking nonsense, linking Igbos who are non Biafrans and Igbos who are Biafrans and other Biafran people who are innocent. Don't bring them. We are not going to fight. We Biafrans, Igbo Biafrans, and other Biafrans. We are not fighting anybody. We are not going to fight. If, if you go and start fighting in the north, it is you that is fighting. They should never, nobody should attribute it to the Biafran cause. The Biafran cause says sit at home. They don't go out to fight. That's our greatest weapon that made the international community to get attention, attract, uh, to attend to us and look into, it made us attract attention on the international community. We are not fighting. Our fighting is to stay at home. And we did it. And we are continuing. So don't involve us. If you are in Lalibo and you want to fight, you can fight. I'm not advising you, but if you do, you fight at the risk of your own life. It, I'm being honest, sincere, and truthful. I don't like Mago Mago. Let's look at it objectively. If you want us to help you, you will ask for help. Not once, not two times, at least three times. You should ask for help. Openly, not secretly. Don't write any secret letter to Simon. No. Come out openly and tell Simon, please, they are killing us here. Come and help us. Then Simon will call us, we'll sit down together. All of us are stakeholders in this thing. And then we we'll discuss with him and know the strategy we follow. We have to give you conditions. So that if you are going to follow our strategy, the international community will know we are leading the fight to Biafra independence. Without you wicked people coming tomorrow in Biafra with all your mago mago and bring your confusion and begin to spoil Biafra from the beginning when it starts. No, we're not going to allow that. You have to take the back seat and we give you a condition you have to follow. It might be painful to you, but you have to follow it. And that is what we've been doing. We've been doing shit at home. It's been painful, but we have swallowed it. We have followed it. Their friends at home have observed, sit at home. They don't have money like you, but they have observed it. They have observed it from their heart, and God has given us victory to the extent that that election was a referendum of sorts. Because in Biafra land, the election did not take place. The very few that went out, they didn't even see, <laughs> they didn't even see Labour Party logo on the banner or whatever. They didn't see it. Some of them could not vote. There were no materials. Some one one and a half weeks ahead of time, I told said that 240 police centers will not be eligible to have voters' cards being stamped upon. He uh, said um, um, fingerprinted. They said it, so it was clearly evident and visible to all of you that you were on a wild goose chase by hoping that somehow Peter will be will win, and then the Fulanese will hand over power to you. How can you dream? You can only dream like that. How can you be so stupid in dreaming? You can only be so stupid in such dreams, because you're stupid. Because you learn to, you, 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 you refuse to learn lessons. You are told the truth, your ears are so hard that hearing you will not understand, saying you will not perceive. You will not. You are headstrong, stubborn, and disobedient. That is the reason why you have linked up with your obedient and showed your disobedience against God. You are now victims. They are burning down your stores. Why should I like it? I don't like it, but I can't help it. And even if I can, I am not going to until you seek my permission. You seek my help. Then, so that when I'm coming into it, 
The Northerners will already know my stand. That I don't have anything against them personally. If you destroy your 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 hedge, a snake will enter in and bite you. Your hedge, God raised him up in the person of Namdi Kano. He did not carry bullet or gun. He was talking. That's how Jesus did. And at talking, he convinced people. They followed him. Those people began to talk, and the numbers increased. We, we didn't carry weapons. We don't advocate the killing of people. It is not in our blood to kill people. So when stupidness of Magnus Uraka, Uraka who is coming here to come and talk trash, that the evil should not be able, that they are very emotional. We are not. The people who are very emotional in doing things are the Muslims and even the Yorubas who went around burning down stores of Igbos in Lariko Market. The trouble has won. Why the hostility? Why the hostility? It's not Igbo man that burned their market. So, oh God of heaven, why should people like Magnus Oraga come and be talking nonsense? They are coming to tell us that we're emotional? You think you, you, you play on intelligence? You think you're smart? You are not smart, Magnus Oraga. Mind your business. Go and deal with your people. Go and see how you can help them. You are not a spokesperson for Igbo people. Neither can you speak for Biafra. Neither can you indirectly begin to demonize Biafra now. So that any insurrection that takes place, they will link it to Biafra. We are not part of it. We are not, we are not part of the election. It was evident and clear. On the 25th of um, um, February, everybody thought we had soldiers on ground that will go and fight and kill these people. There was no single person on ground as a soldier. Because, and I made a broadcast before then, that we don't impose sit at home on anybody. It was a collective decision. But we went further by explaining to our people, creating an awareness, schooling them to understand that it is safer for them to sit at home. And let us look unto the God of heaven. To, thank God we had a three days fasting. It shall go into the, on, on record, the whole world will see it, that during that day we told our people, stay at home and pray. Don't go out with knives. So all those people who went out to vote did not stay at home to pray. They were not part of the praying team. They did not believe what we were doing. <laughs> so they have gone. They have killed some of them. They have burned down their scores. So when they begin to fight now, know that the people who are fighting are those who don't believe in Biafra. If you know them, deal with them. You want to, That's your business. We don't care. I'm not telling you what to do. Whether they deal with you or deal with them, we don't know. We don't care. What we're saying is that Biafrans sat at home. They have no hand in it. Biafrans are not angry that the stores of people were burnt. In Meduguri or Ladipo, Biafra are not angry because this burning had been there from beginning, not today. They burnt uh, timber sheds in, uh, in, uh, in Abuja. They burnt houses. They, they threw bomb and bombed stores in, in Ibo land, in Biafra land. They killed people. They raped our women. They destroyed things. We, we did not get provoked to go back and look for the women and rape them. Nobody ever heard in the history of social media that a Biafra man went and picked a Fulani girl and raped her. We don't do that. We have respect for human dignity. They are the ones that came and raped our women, killed our men, burned our houses, set their cows to enter into our uh, farmland, ate our crops to sustain their cows. Everybody know that. We did not retaliate. So, Magnus Oraka, all your wickedness that you're bringing to set evils up, it will go upon your head. God will judge you for your wickedness. You can never escape it because you are one of those people that are implanted to cause confusion. Just like Otto Zeribe, when Abiola won the election, he had to take Abiola to court, Association of Better Nigeria. This, this is a wicked implantation. That's what Magnus Oraka stands for. I don't want to know your level of education. You are as ill-informed. I'm not saying uninformed. I'm not saying uninformed. You are ill-informed. Ill-informed because your attention is to give an innocent man or people a bad name. And when they are destroyed, you come out tomorrow and say, yes, I came out and said it. That the Igbo should not act anyhow. That this is not a Biafra thing. Listen, Magnus Soraka, it's not a Biafra thing. We are not interested. Whatever happened in Meduguri, we are not. Biafra is not in Meduguri. Biafra is not in Meduguri. If there is any true Biafra whose store was burnt, we will know when the time comes. We, 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 we will know that they have been part of IPOB. Anyhow, anyhow, we will find out. So most of these guys who were going for their PVCs definitely were not IPOB. Every Igbo man that went for PVC was not an IPOB. Just like I told you about Ikeng Ugo Chinere. He's a senator. I said, I heard he won the federal representative or something. He wants to be a senator or a representative member. I don't know. But the point is, I read it on Twitter. And I told you he's speaking for Biafra and also contesting for election. He's not a true Biafra. Anybody that speaks for election in Nigeria and is also claiming to be a Biafra is a liar. He's fake. 
Don't don't listen to that person. Whether it's a man or a woman, they are evil people. Don't be deceived. It is either you're on the Lord's side or you're on the devil's side. You cannot stay neither hot nor cold. That means on the Lord's side you can fall there. On the devil's side you go. So you live from both sides. God hates such people. He said he will spew you out of his mouth. You are detestable. You make him vomit. You are appalling. You are, you are repugnant. You repel him. The smell of you is terrible. He wants you spewed out of his mouth. You know what you spit? That's God spitting you out of his mouth. You are evil. So it is either you're on the Lord's side or you're on the devil's side. If you're on the devil's side, we know you're on the devil's side. So when you say you're a Biafran and you also carry PVC, somebody put something on Twitter. I told him it's not a true Biafran. He said he is. I've forgotten his name. I would have mentioned it here. I told him you're not a true Biafran. You cannot be looking for PVC to vote for me when Nam the Kano is languishing in detention. Three courts freed him and Obi did not say anything. He did not say anything because Obi was, you know, trying to preserve his presidential ambition. His ambition far at waste in the Kano's life. Obi's ambition far at waste the life of those that were killed in his universe. Obi's ambition far at waste the eastern states that have been bombarded by military jets handled by Boko Haram, the Pentagon members that were absorbed into the Nigerian government. Obi refused to talk. Rather, Obi went to the north and told them, don't be afraid. You are going to be the greater beneficiaries of my administration. How else will somebody make you to understand that they hate you? Even you that voted for B, he doesn't care about you. If they kill you, that's your problem. So if you are, they are born to your stores now, Obi will not talk. Your stores that were born. Obi will not make one single comment of your stores that were born in Meduguri. He will not make, if he makes it now, even then it's too late because he would have been saying this thing before then, before now, when people were being dealt with in Lagos over a PVC issue. He didn't say anything. And they said, no, let him not say so that they don't put them in trouble. They're already in trouble. They're in trouble already. Then Trump, somebody came out and began to threaten the holy boss in um, Yoruba land that if you don't leave, we're going to deal with you. Did you see? The people are very, very fortright. They tell you their plans, what they want to do against you, as a matter of fact. So you are expected to use your brains. You don't. A lot of you are a, a, a bunch of idiots. Idiots. How politically unsavvy you are. And you have been told something, you don't want to critically look at something. Process this thing in your mind. Come out with a thinking pattern on how you are going to do to solve this problem. You went there like sheep, running around to get for PVC. Obi won in the social media. And INEC gave their own result. If you begin to fight against Obi now, listen, a new government has been formed. The next thing they will tell you is, well, the government has been formed. If you have any problem, don't take laws into your hands. That's what they will tell you. Go to the court of law. Go to the court of law. And when you go to the court, it's the government in power that controls the court as usual. If it's not going to favor them, they'll control it as usual. So by the, before you finish talking in the court, four years would have passed for Tinubu. It would have entered. So all your complaint makes sense. They'll give you another opportunity to go to the polls, to go and vote a new leader if you don't like Tinubu. And foolishly, you will go again and they will defeat you because you don't have brains, you don't have sense. So my Kabbalistic people, that bring us to the end of this update. Do us a favor, please share this video, like and subscribe as I give you all the latest updates back to back from me to you from here i said bye